Anyway, me going off on a tangent, imagine that. Okay, long story endless. The point I wanted to make was these big picture news reversals. Years ago, I worked with Larry Connors, and this was one of the things that he often pointed out. So we had the Bitcoin, spot Bitcoin ETF approved right here. And then what happened after initial pop intraday, the market began to implode. And everybody at Brother was out poo-pooing Bitcoin like it's going to be the end of the world. Not that I'm this huge advocate of Bitcoin, but I am an advocate of things that are going up when they are going up. So with a news reversal, you want to look for the news and then you want to look to buy when that news reversal high gets taken out. Now you could also work off a closing basis. And this is what I did here when it closes above that news reversal high. So you can see since the spot ETF was approved after the initial sell off, the market began to rally nicely. Now, I don't trade directly off of this, but it is a nice little tool to have in your toolbox or arrow in your quiver, however you want to look at that to help you make a case for or against a market, especially, of course, if it's trending. Years ago, I was speaking in Dallas, and it was right about the time Mr. Jobs wasn't doing so well, and it was kind of a fait accompli that uh, he wasn't going to make it. And somebody wanted to know what I thought about Apple in light of this. Now, as a technician, I said, well, the day he passes, mark the price of the stock. Let's see where it is, and then look to buy when it closes above that high. And I've done many presentations before where I pointed that out, and Apple has come a long ways since. So big picture news reversals is something that you don't necessarily want to rush out and trade in and of themselves, but they certainly can help you build your case for buying something if it is trending.